Right now, I ride, I chill, and I share. What's going on? Planning a trip to the next EWS? This is all the stuff I have to do. Planning, yes. And I'm old school, I still need to see it. I have it on my phone, but most of the time I have this next to my computer. <laughs> nice. So you're going to EWS this weekend? No. Why? Because I'm not racing. N not at all. Uh, I do race sometimes when I want to, but uh, I, now I'm focused on doing some crank works, basically social media more and more and my new YouTube channel. That's my goal right now. But uh, when I'm in some event and I can raise some stuff, I do raise some stuff, but basically the stuff I want to raise because I don't want to get focused in one thing. I want to be a little bit everywhere. Crank works? You like it? Yeah. That's why Crankways, we start with uh, the New Zealand one. It was awesome because that was a good way to end up a trip we did with the boys from Santa Cruz, with Josh and uh, Jamie and uh, Mark Scott and uh, yeah, myself and... Uh, and Yago. Yago and uh, Gary as a, the, the photographer. We just had a good time, you know, like, and uh, we was there. I helped the boys for the EWS. I did all the stages with them. And I quickly re realized, and it's going to be a tough day. <laughs> I think for the first day, we was missing only one stage and we ride seven hours <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty tough. Then uh, I decided like I'm going to ride with them and do some photos, filming for my vlog, helping them as well on lines and everything else. And during the race day, I was at the mechanical zone, helping the boys to switch uh, Gloves, goggles, helping them out, uh, preparing like sandwich and cleaning the bike and basically all the stuff I could help because I think it was important that day, it was hard enough for them. Then I help and jump in the team to help the boys. Nice. So we'll see you at the next <coughs> Frank Works. I will be in Leger, going to Innsbruck. Pretty tough though because I want to do trans -Provence. I want to do one day trans -Provence. I'm going to do as well. Uh, Alp Duez, because uh, I like those my start with the start. It was the first time for me last year in the snow, but unlucky. The snow was soft, I had to run the full thing. Mm -hmm. Then uh, it was difficult. I would like to do that race in a good condition for me because I truly think I can do good. Like Reunion Island race, you know. I know I'm not as fit as I was before because I ride a lot more, but I do less fitness. But maybe on one day race, you never know about the old grass, yeah? And what I do now is basically less racing, more events like press lounge, going to some uh, crank works, film, do some photos and uh, work with my sponsors on different things. And uh, yeah, just basically more riding, less racing. Okay. And you only pick events that you like to do? Yeah, I discuss with uh, Santa Cruz and a couple of my sponsors where they want me to be. And uh, they really like those mass um, really mass uh, events like this and I can meet the people, sign autograph, uh, just being closer to the public. That's uh, where my sponsors want me to be and that's where I want to be. Then it's really cool. And uh, yeah, it's been amazing so far, just like going all around the world because we're having a little bit less stress about racing and I have a lot more time to do things instead of chilling after practicing. <laughs> And thanks to the internet, you've got as much coverage as if you would be racing. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, like either you, rest, you race and you perform and you do the top spot or you do more traveling, more riding everywhere in the world and uh, more media and um, that's the power of internet right now. Then that's the way I'm going and uh, now I put something a little bit tougher in the plate is basically taking care of my YouTube channel. <laughs> And as a daily vlog, it's pretty massive, you know, like filming all day, cutting and uploading and yeah, it's tough. But uh, yeah, that's why my calendar is so full, <laughs> but I like it. It's good. I like it. It's good. And I can make travel the people who follow me online. 
on internet they can follow my trip and then they get a little bit they get a piece of everything i do do you like it it's it's very different from the calendar you had like 10 years ago i think it is a new way of the life now uh everyone is taking photo of a little videos and to put on the net and then i, I really like it I, i jump it in there and i think i'm a little geek then I, I do like it. It's a different, you know, like when you stop racing, because you're so focused on doing the result, training hard, and sometimes it pay off, sometimes it don't pay off, and uh, yeah. But since day one, I was really into the social media and uh, tried to post as much as I can on the stuff I do. Then now I even have more time, then uh, I do even more. <laughs> I do like it, I do like it. It's, diff it's different life of the racer for sure but uh, we may be more accessible to the racers because when you're a racer you have to be focused and sometimes you just have to go straight to the hotel and relax and eat good and put your legs up right now i ride i chill and i share <laughs> that sounds pretty good so what what are you gonna do today today we have to finish those uh, the vlog i'm going to put my clothes on and we're going to for some shredding in the bike park in val nord Hit some jumps, do some cool little video for the Insta, maybe like sharp one, bam, bam, bang, 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 because I really do like this. I saw it in a couple of different sport, super active. I want to do some photos and because uh, I like photos as well for social media and some of my sponsors that we use later on for some uh, big event like Eurobike and Las Vegas bike show and for the social media as well or for catalog then uh, yeah i provide those photos to the guys because for me it's easier to work with i know one guy he used to be a photographer and oh, yeah, oh wait he's behind the camera that's true <clears throat> then uh, i like his style thank you yeah easy relax and uh yeah let's make that guy a little bit more known he's already is Buh. ah he's pretty good <laughs> cool go get changed then easy I have to finish this nah. I have to make sure I saved everything first I'm picking uh, my new glasses oh yeah <laughs> right <laughs> uh, I just finished to put my clothes on and we're going to let's go and film some <laughs> stuff yes please and photos and photos And um, by the way, we have some infos here and you can link to the description there and there and there. Oh, nothing. <laughs> That's what it is or the reverse or whatever. No, you're good. Good? Uh, yeah, let's go ride. It's still good weather, a little bit cloudy, but we're good. It's going to be mint. The dirt is going to be mental. Hap, hap. I'm good, I have the gloves. All the stuff is upstairs. I have the panda. By the way, it's Friday. Have a good weekend. For us, it's going to be shredding and we're going to prepare something for you guys. Lots. Lots.